Hello and welcome back to my channel. Victon is back with their title track, Stupid O'Clock? Stupid O'Clock. Very uh, interesting name for a song. They've got a new mini album, their seventh mini album. Damn, they have way more than I thought they did. Their last release was Chronograph, which is the most, like, good song I've heard. There's nothing, like, great about it. There's nothing bad about it. It was just very middling for me. I enjoyed it, but I guess it didn't wow me. And coming off of what I said, which is, like, the song, man. Oh, my God. I love that song so goddamn much. I guess I was just looking for a bit more, but I still thought it was a solid release. Let me know how you guys felt about that and looking back how you feel about it. But let's check out this new one, Stupid O'Clock by Victon. Let's go. Oh, this is darker. Oh. Zombies? Oh. Oh, it's a little gothic. I like this. Look at this much. Oh, he's got a real Joker vibe right now. Careless. Seriously, one of the more impressive K-pop rappers out there. Oh, the hanger. Smooth, this is a sexy song. Oh. Is that Sejun there? I think he's the only one that I know outside of Hansei. He's always got a cocky look about him, and I kind of I kind of like that. <laughs> Are they vampires? Even if morning comes? You know, a lot of the shots, the urban shots of this video remind me of uh, their song Nostalgic Night. I'm getting a lot of like imagery from that. I think I'm thinking the right one. This is a more mature release. This isn't gonna blast you in the face and wow you in that way. But it sounds very unique to me. Are they all running from Hansa right now? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh wait, is that the that that was the stopwatch from the previous MV? Yes. Don't ask me if there's even a storyline with this group. There's too there's too many out there, but I appreciate this song for what it does. That it it stands out in being this very low key mature sexy vibe uh with the song let's listen to this one again um i feel like this is absolutely going to be a grower it's not one of those that's gonna again like be a momentous blast you in the face first viewing kind of thing it's a song that i definitely would never get sick of and would want to keep coming back to it because it it stands out to me and also it reminds me of a lot of maybe the earlier victim songs <laughs> At least the ones that I know. No, I didn't catch a watch in the beginning. I love this next vocal delivery coming up. I love that. Ooh, it sounds so rich. Are there callbacks? Am I just reminding me of some of their other music videos? The vampiric styling. He's always also accenting his own rap verse in the back. Always. He looks like S Coop's there for a second. Mm. Wow, God, I love this outfit. Yeah, this is seems very directly tied to chronograph. God, but I feel like I'm losing my mind. I just haven't seen those older music videos enough. I've only seen them really that one time that, that I reacted to them, but haven't gone back to the MVs. I've listened to the songs plenty, but it just, it did, a lot of this, like the urban areas remind me so much of their older music videos. Is there a time travel thing going, maybe? Why does Hansei seem like the big bad in all this for some reason? And what are they escaping here? See, I think this is a very good release. Unfortunately, I feel like it's something that might not blow up or get picked up, especially for a group that's that's very underrated and, and smaller like Victon, that the general K-pop fandoms and populace isn't going to really pick this one up or I wouldn't see a song like this going viral in any way because it's more low-key and, and a bit more mature as a whole. Uh, Chronograph, I felt, really stuck to the the K-pop structure and, and was more formulaic than uh, I had heard a lot of their other tracks 
B. That's why I thought it was like very good because they're great performers, uh, great vocalists, uh, excellent, excellent rapper uh, in this group. So I enjoyed all of that, but I just thought as structurally, I thought it was very familiar. Um, whereas what I said totally stuck out to me, but was bombastic. This one sticks out to me in the the other range, the low key, um, uh, want to keep coming back to it kind of thing. This is something that uh, is very, very chill and feels just more mature, older. And I actually really, really like it a lot. Let me know about the callbacks if there are actually a lot in here. It feels like there are to me, but I can't really confirm those exactly myself. But either way, I do do really like this one. I'm surprised they went in this direction. Uh, and I hope it does well for them because they're one of those groups that I would really, really like to succeed uh, a whole lot more. And uh, hopefully, you know, they get bigger. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this with me. Please subscribe if you're new. Check out my other Victim reactions down below in the description. Also, check out my like top uh, top 30, whatever it was, uh, songs of 2021 because Victon was way, 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 way up there. And and uh, yeah, you'd like that if you're a big Victon fan. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.